The first thing I do, I sit on the edge of the bed. I thank God I'm alive. I just like waking up. And I'm, I'm, I never say, speak negative. I go, man, I hope, I hope it's a good day today. No. I say, today is going to be a great day. I claim it. I lay claim to it. That's the first thing. The second thing, uh, at least 20 minutes. Sometimes it lasts an hour. It depends. I have a journal. I have a daily devotional called Jesus Calling. And I have a New Living Testament Bible. I sit down. I just ask God to show me what I should learn today. And he flips, I open the book to whatever he wants me to read. And I read it, I highlight it, I take notes about what I learned, I study it, and I try to put it into action. And that's every day. Now, a lot of people say, Steve, I don't have time to do that. You do have time. If you don't have time, you should make time. Because gratitude is the number one way to become successful. Because the more grateful you become, the more things God will give you to be grateful for. That's a very important principle. So if you start your day with gratitude, it's like this, like, check this out. If, you, if somebody come to your house every day and ask you for a cup of sugar, and you give them a cup of sugar, and they take the sugar and they just walk off. And then the next day they come and they ask for another cup of sugar, and you're a nice person, so you give them another cup of sugar, and they just walk off. How many days can this person come to your house and get this cup of sugar and never say thank you? How many, how many times you gonna let that go down? Seriously. Survey said. Sur survey said. You know, how many days? Not many, because you're human. Because at one point you're gonna say, hey, wait a minute, hold up, man. You done came by here six times. I done gave you this cup of sugar and you ain't said thank you one time? Don't come by here no more. So now, let's think for a second. If this God wakes you up every day, allows you to breathe, see, it's not your alarm clock that wakes you up. Your alarm clock goes off. God shakes you. Then you hear the alarm clock. It's not you that's waking up. It's God allowing you to wake up. So if you ever stop to just thank him for everything he's done for you, whatever clothes you got, whatever kind of car, if you just got taxi fare and you thank him every day for a list of things, guess what he'll do tomorrow? He will add to that list of stuff that you can thank him for. And if you keep thanking him, you'll find out that in one week, you have a lot more stuff to be grateful for. Gratitude is the number one principle of success. That's what the average person doesn't understand. You can do that today. You don't need no more money. You can start that today. That would change your life. I kid you not. You, you ain't got to try, just try it. You ain't got to believe me, try it. I dare you. I, I'm, I'm in the only profession there is no school for. You can't go to school for comedy. There's nothing. Nothing available for comedy. You're either born this way or you're not. But you could go take lessons and then, you know, you just got to get around the scene out here. It's hard, it take a long, young people, you just gotta understand, it take a long time to make a lot of money. Quit thinking you finna just hit it. That's not how this works. It take a long time to make a lot of money. I just got this money, summer full ass. <laughs> I'm 61 years old. I just got this money, summer full ass. Took me a long time, man. But there's joy in the process too. See, you gotta enjoy the process. You gotta you got be grateful when you're making 50,000. Then you gotta be grateful when you get to 75,000. You gotta be grateful at 80,000. A lot of people stay pissed off because they ain't a millionaire. But I got news for you. If you pissed off where you are right now, you'll never be a millionaire. You want me to tell you why? Because there is a principle of success that God requires our gratitude. The more you're grateful for, the more God will give you to be grateful for. Because see, God, he real smart. He got this system set up real smart. So you can immediately increase your life by being grateful. Instead of complaining about what's going on. Man, I got to go to work today. Man, I got these kids. See, you asked for all this shit, though. Remember when you wanted a job? Remember when you wanted a baby? 
Remember when you wanted to get the new car? Well, the new car come with some bills. Well, remember when you wanted to get to a bigger place? You got the bigger place. It costs more money. You know what I learned? You can't cry about what's on your plate when your whole goal was to eat. You can't, man. And if you, the moment you start showing God more gratitude, he'll give you more stuff because he's such a fair God. You know, what he do is he's not going to keep giving you stuff if what you got you can't handle already. So he ain't going to put no more on you than you can bear. So why are you tripping about all you got to do? He said, well, let me quit giving him stuff to do because he already can't handle this here. You kill more blessings by not being grateful. That's the number one blessing blocker, lack of gratitude. That's the number one reason I have what I have, and that's the number one reason why I'm going to get more, because I just stay grateful for what I have. And I'm busy, man, but I, over, over last year I was complaining a lot, and I couldn't understand why these few deals wasn't closing. I was on vacation this year, I was sitting on the boat, I was looking out over the water, and, and, and God just, he just showed it to me. He said, well, Steve, you've been complaining a lot about your workload, about how much you got. I can't give you no more because I don't want to, I don't want to tax you. I don't want to overburden you. I came back, told my wife that. We, we finished up the vacation, I came back. I changed everything. I wake up every morning with nothing but gratitude and I became more efficient. And I'm telling you right now, two of them deals, I signed one yesterday because I figured it out. The cool thing about it is, it don't take God a long time to bless you. He starts immediately, man. I, I, listen to me, y'all. Wake up every day and start being grateful. Wake up every day. Don't, don't check your phone first. Don't check your texts and messages. Wake up every morning and just start thanking him for just your life, your kids, your job, your house, your food, your clothes, your money, your car, your husband, your boyfriend. And then immediately after that, you'll have a better day. And then watch, he start giving you more stuff. It's really not a magic trick to getting rich, man. You just have to learn the principles of success. Listen to me. I'm not even, I'm not a preacher. I, I'm a Christian, but I'm not, I'm not a pastor. I'm not, I, I ain't even really that good a Christian. You understand? To tell you the truth, I'm, I'm an entry-level Christian. You know, I've been a Christian a long time, but I'm an entry-level Christian. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm probably like a 2.5 or something. But God loves me the way I am. Now, I'm constantly trying to improve myself. But I got news for you. God loves you right where you at. Right where you at right now. And I'm gonna just tell you a little something. All of you, you're in the process right now. You're in the process of becoming what God wants you to be. See, the reason you wake up every day, the reason you keep waking up is because God ain't through with you yet. If God was through with you, you wouldn't wake up no more but he keeps waking you up because he still has something for you that you've yet to receive. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. It is the law of attraction. It is real. It is nothing fake about it. The Bible says a man is as he thinketh. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. If you say all men are dogs, you're going to meet every last one of them. <laughs> I'll never be rich. You won't. You won't. The moment you change the frequency that your tower emits, the moment you change that frequency, different things come back to you. I'm telling you this how it works. I'm going to just say this fast as I can. I'm going to let you go. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. Listen, the reason you came to this show today was to be entertained. But a lot of y'all came to this show 
And I ain't, cause you needed to hear this. All I am is a piece of conduit. I'm a piece of pipe. God just tell me what to say. I don't pick what I'm gonna say at the end of the show. God just tell me what to say. Somebody in here needed to hear this. Somebody, you just needed that little moment, man, to get you to thinking a little bit differently so you can get the life God got for you. God wants to show you off. He wants people that he can use in that example and say, hey, this is what I do for people. If you call on me and you believe in me, this is what I do for people. I raised my hand a long time ago. Use me. Show them, show them how you take an old hula. Tell them how you take a street boy. Tell them, show how you can take somebody ain't got no education. Take me. Take somebody that don't even talk that good. Take somebody who flunked out of school on his third marriage, lost everything, lived in a car for three years. Take me and show somebody what you can do through me. Guess what he did? He picked me up. He put me in a world I knew nothing about. God will do the same thing for you. Change your attitude, you change your altitude. Thank you all for coming.